a raw hair trolling crankbait sedan, a little inland lake close to home. It's supposed to have a few walleye in it. And we've been dealt a hand that you get a lot in fall time when you're fishing, and that is dirty water. Now, one of the things I like to do, I'm not big on crankbait color. Uh, if you've watched any of our seminars, you know that color is not a big deal to me. But one of the things I do pay attention to when I'm trolling crankbaits is I like to pay attention to sound. If I'm dealing with cold front conditions, cold water like we have today, dirty water like we have today, fish that are close to the bottom and non-aggressive, I'm going to grab a crankbait out of my box that has a low frequency sound, one big rattle in it. What that does is that puts out a low frequency sound that fish can actually feel through their lateral line. So now they don't need to see the bait and they can't see the bait because of the conditions. They can hear that bait, feel it coming through their lateral line, look up and maybe you've got a better chance of catching that fish than you do with a bait that doesn't make a lot of noise. Think about that the next time you're dealing with night fishing, dirty water, or fish are non-aggressive. Pick a crankbait that has a low frequency sound, a thud sound to it. You're going to catch a lot more fish every time you're on the water.